Hiya folks, I'm super excited about this battle because this is a battle of revelations. The first revelation I had when I had this battle about a month and a half ago, uh, right after the English release of Black and White, uh, and that's that basically, uh, now that Black and White is released in the US, not every trainer you meet on random Wi-Fi is going to be um, a, an overly competitive uh, Japanese player who's going to disconnect on you the second they start losing. Um, the great thing about random Wi-Fi is you can see where your opponent is from, and this guy was from Britain, so thank God for the Brits. The second revelation, as you can hear in the background, is that I have managed to mute the freaking audio. Yeah, that's right. I figured out a way to keep the sound effects, but get rid of the uh, but get rid of the audio, um, the music in all these battles. So that opens up a whole new world of possibilities, and I'm gonna have a whole lot of fun playing with this. Uh, the third revelation is after uh, my, you know, bazillionth battle uh, that I recorded with this Mumi, having to deal with all the lag and stuff, I decided, screw it, I'm going with no money GBA, um, even though uh, it's only for Windows, uh, there's a program called Wine that's, that lets you run Windows programs in Linux, and it turns out it works amazingly well. Uh, I really could not believe it. I could not believe that I hadn't discovered it sooner because now, rather than having to record using Dismumi and then dub over um, my uh, altered uh, music, instead all I have to do is um, enter the cheat code in No Money GBA. Uh, but so, anyway, let's get down to the battle. It's a triples battle, which is totally awesome. I love triples. It's really kind of interesting. Um, but I've managed to take down, what, two of his Pokemon at this point? Um, and my Pokemon are doing pretty darn well, uh, so far. Um, yeah, one turn, this is only the first turn in, and already so much has happened. Triple battles are intense. Um, but so anyway, uh, yeah, two Trick Room leads, just so he wouldn't know which one would, uh, use the Trick Room. Um, because looking at my team, it's fairly obvious that this is a Trick Room team. Um, but so anyway, I've just taken down a third Pokemon. Uh, his Regigigas uses Giga Impact against my Rotom. It uh, doesn't do too much, and I go ahead and Drain Punch his uh, Regigigas um, to recover my Gallade, basically back to full health. Actually, I think it's entirely to full health. Uh, yes, so it is, um, although there will be some life or, re life or recoil there. Um, but so anyway, his Moltres goes ahead and uses Heat Wave, a good move for a Moltres to have in a triples battle, um, and that's going to be enough to take out my Rotom, and unfortunately he gets a crit against my Gallade, which is rather sad. Um, Gallade has awesome special defense, um, owing to the fact that it has the same defenses as Gardevoir, um, but, you know, crit's a crit. So anyway, um, next I send out Lantern, and um, all three of my Pokemon should be able to attack before his. Uh, Psychic against Moltres to get its health down. Uh, Regigigas is, um, had used Giga Impact, so it is uh, recharging this turn. I go ahead and take it out before it can attack again the next turn, uh, even though it does more damage to me than to him thanks to Life Orb Recoil. Uh, but I do manage to take him out. Um, yeah, as I said, Life Orb Recoil. Lantern goes ahead and uses Scald against his Heatran. I don't know why I didn't uh, take out Moltres. Um, I think I was expecting uh, Psychic to do a little bit more. Or maybe one of his Pokemon was protected and I wanted to hedge my bets. Anyways, Moltres uses Crunch, which I figure that must have been a misclick. He must have been going for my Sharna there. Um, but whatevs, good for me. Um, Gallade is finally going to be taken out by this um, Heat Wave. So bye bye, Gallade. Uh, rather sad. Um, and I'm going to get some leftovers recovery, but this battle is rapidly progressing. I think this is, I think these are his last two Pokemon, and I have four left. So out goes my Steelix, and I'm going to go ahead and finish this game. Uh, Steelix is going to go ahead and use Rock Slide, which only hits Moltres, but that's all it needs to hit anyway. Um, and so Moltres is down, and now, uh, since both of my other two Pokemon should be slower than his Heatran, I am hoping to take out uh, Heatran before it attacks. So Psychic doesn't really do much, as one would expect, but Lantern Scald should be enough to KO, and I have handily won the match. And look, no disconnect! It's quite, quite amazing. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I definitely did. Um, and I'm definitely enjoying using this music. Uh, feel free to give me suggestions, but make sure that it's pu um, public domain or creative commons because I do not want to get infracted. So comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge folks. So long.